Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to continue our we are going to continue our discussion on sense organs. In our last class, we discussed introduction to sense organs, the meaning of sense organ, as well as the major five senses in the body. So we also discussed on the skin, what it does, and where the nerve endings are located within the derma layer. Of the skin today we are going to be discussing our organ of taste some people prefer sweets and some people prefer salty food but for you now i know all of you most of you prefer at least 99 percent prefer sweets because our mouth is so sweet we want to take ice cream candy and so on and so forth now we are going to look at the tongue the tongue the mammalian tongue the mammalian tongue of taste as we all know our sense of oh this is sweet oh this is bitter and so on and so forth sensory cells for taste are grouped into taste buds so on our tongue we have this we have tiny tiny dots say called sensory here you can show me yours we, we call them the taste buds located in different parts of the tongue the taste buds are tiny swellings of um, exposed surface of the tongue and they are the receptors for chemicals in food. We have different chemicals in our food. These are, um, these are the receptors that receive these chemicals from our food and they are connected to central nerve endings that lead to the central nervous system. We have the tongue connected to central nerves that leads to the same central nervous system. Look, coming back to Mr. Hade again, we can see her tongue is located here, somewhere here in the body. So we have several nerves that connect the tongue to the brain that helps us to interpret what we are testing. What we are testing. So the tongue takes the function of detecting four major tastes. We have sweet right on at the tip of the tongue. That is why if you want to feel for sweetness, like that is sugary sweet, we place it on this part of the tongue. Especially during this month of Ramadan, when most of you are cooking in the kitchen, you want to know if your food is too salty or if the sugar you placed in your um if the sugar you put in your pastries are it enough you can just place a tea you can place a little of it on the tip of your tongue test it if you are going to feel the test then spit it out if you are testing for salt you place it on one side of your of your tongue very close to the front this the way the front tip we and um, the front tip by the side we have the salty we have the salty test we have the salty taste a little further we have sour we want to know if our fruit is ripe if it is most ripe but do not taste on ripe fruit please some of them are very very dangerous to the health and then finally we have the part that tastes bitter things an interesting fact when most of us want to use our medicines we always place it at the end of our tongue and that is the part of the tongue that actually detects bitter so you see, you are even in, you are directly allowing the bitter taste to stay in your mouth because you are putting it there, right where it is going to be detected as a bitter taste. So next time you are taking your medicine, make sure that you either place it in front or you just swallow it directly. Avoid this part and you won't feel how bitter the medicine is. Our tongue can, our tongue, um, can also tell, tell us the temperature of the food, how hot or cold the food is, as well as other factors that are surrounding the tongue. But sometimes you may notice that your tongue is not functioning very well, you can't taste food, especially when you are sick, maybe when you have the flu, influenza, which is um, commonly the common cold. When you have the common cold and that is affecting our nostrils, which is also connected to the tongue, may have it that you can't actually detect the taste of food in your you can you can't detect the taste of the food so there are some factors that affect our ability to test food which includes the environment if the weather is too hot or too cold 
the temperature of the food if the food is too hot you may not even be able to taste the food in fact the only thing you will you will end up doing is you will end up abusing your taste but that is when you start feeling that scratchy um pain in your tongue that means you just injured the test board so if the, the temperature of the food as well as how many food are you tasting at the same time sometimes it may be difficult for you to be able to tell what all the ingredients are when you are stimulating all part of the tongue at the same time so how much how many food you taste at once the um, determines the texture of the tongue an interesting fact is spicy food a test and why isn't it located in any part of our layer now spicy is not actually a taste sensor it is not a taste stimulant rather it is an injury to our taste buds and that is why when you take too much spicy you feel the oh it is very painful because spicy is not actually a taste it is not actually a chemical it is an injury to our taste bud so next time you feel spicy in your mouth don't think that oh this is so good i'm eating well no actually you are stimulated you are injuring your taste bud but it's good spicy makes the food delicious at times 